All right, I've got this cut out now, and I've also cut my slits here. So right there, see how they're just cut? Now let's learn how to score. I open my scissors up, I'll take my ruler, and I'll put it down. And I line that edge up with my scissors, then I gently just drag that across. Do the same thing the other side. And I'm putting very little pressure on there, just like that. Now, like I said, I could do that one if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do it because like I said, more students mess that up than anything else. So now I just take this, and since I went lightly, it just cuts that very top layer of that paper and see it folds really nice and neat. I don't have to put a lot of effort into it. Now I don't wanna really overfold it. I'm gonna try to keep it about 90 degrees as I can. Do the other side. There we go. All right, our main body is about done. Okay, now see how this is? I can't, if I, if I still want to, I can go back and score that and that will make that drop down more of a sharp angle instead of kind of a rolling one. But I'm gonna just do it like this for mine. Like I said, if you wanna score it, just make sure you score here to here and not clear across to your flaps, okay? All right, now let's set up our other parts real quick. All right. Now this one I like, I like because it has this here, straight edge here and here. I'm gonna use those. That way it's one less cut I have to do. And that, that makes me happy because there's one less thing I can't mess up. All right, so I'm gonna put a straight line. I'm gonna take the edge of this ruler and I'm gonna use it kind of like a T-square. Line it up. I'm hoping it's going to be straight. It should be because I'm going off of this line here. It'll be straight enough for us. Okay, so there's three inches right there. So now I go over here, measure three inches across there, there. Here's that. Now we go three inches high. I know that's three inches, so I just gotta measure this side. There's, oh, dang, I got two rulers. Bring that across. Now I am drawing this part right here. So there's my three by three. Let me see if I have enough room for my three eighths. I'm hoping I do. And I just do. That's right there in the corner. So there's my three eighths there. And I go one eighth up top. So I go here and go one eighth. So right there's one eighth. There's three eighths. So I take this corner to there. All right. Now I'll do the same thing the other side. Come over here, one eighth. Try to line that up with that line. I don't have to make a dot, just make that line go across. And then I go to three eighths here on the bottom. Right there. And make that line. All right, so there's my scoop. Now let's bring this over here. Now let's draw our fence. Now we're gonna need two of these. I'm only gonna draw one for you and you can draw the other one. Um, same thing, we're gonna go three inches. Now I know this line here is pretty straight. So to save paper, I'm gonna just use it again. So I'm gonna go three inches. Which is right here. Now I'm gonna make it look like a square at first because I I need to get everything just right. So there's three. And then you go three across. Oh, just a little further. That's all right. Three inches there. Uh 
All right, so there's all my parts I need. Or there's my square I need. Okay, now I go half inch on this side, just like they did. So I go up here, I go half inch, make a little tick mark. Over here, there's half inch there, tick mark. And where those two meet, there's my fin. So all I gotta do is cut here, here, here. Then what I can do, if I don't wanna measure again, I'll take that part and just flip it over here, trace it, cut it out, I'm done. Okay, and I have all this left over in case I do mess something up, I got some more uh, material to go. So I'll be right back while I cut these out. All right, I'm back. Cut these out. Now remember, this one here, I have to score. So remember how to score. You know how to score. Score! No, not that score. A little paper score. So I go here, open my scissors up, lightly drag that across. Do the same side, or same thing, other side. Go here. Lightly go across, all right? That way these will fold over. Oh yeah, that folded over really good. Oh, and so did that one. All right. Now, if you don't do this right, and I have some students do this, they'll make this too small and it won't fit in here. Or they'll make this too small and it won't fit in there. Sometimes it's, it's a little tight and that's okay. See how it fits in there? It does push it out a little bit because when I cut these, it does come over a little bit. So it, there is a little bit of tolerance you may have to work with, but overall that will work, okay? So there's that part. And then here's my fin. Sorry, I got everything around here. Um, and like I said, if I want to, I can just come over here on the same line, flip that over trace it, cut it out, or I can come over here, whatever you wanna do, okay? But you need two fins. Then after that, you need to color everything. You don't have to color the scoop because it goes on bottom, no one sees that. But this here and this and the fins, I would definitely color it while it's flat. You know, flatten this back out, color it however you want because it's easier to color now than after it's all assembled because if you assemble it, then you press down, see how it goes? Yeah, you're not gonna get a very good color, all right? So, that's today's instructions. Uh, good luck. Make sure you read the procedures first. Like I told you on this sheet right here, read this here, it'll basically say everything I did. Probably throw you in some more tips than I did not include, all right? So make sure you follow those. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you ask me. I'm here to help. Um, besides that, hey, have a good day, and I'll see you in the shop.